I wanted to show you some cool things. <laughs> David Dobrik. Our ASIS, you can see it's right here. Oh my god. I don't know how to do this anymore. I have no idea. Hi, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Sunday the 7th. It's around 1.30. Oh, I haven't vlogged in so long. I truly missed it. I miss talking to you guys. It's just been kind of crazy, you guys know. Um, I hope everyone is doing well, all things considered. I know it's a crazy time right now and um, a lot of things are happening in the world. I did talk about it in last week's video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up there for you. Please go watch it. Quick update, because I haven't talked to you guys in a, quite a bit, I feel like. I obviously, I finished my first year of medical school. It's officially over. I don't really get a break because you guys know I'm nonstop busy bee and I don't know how to stop. I have voluntarily signed up for different things to do, but I did take a few days to myself, kind of-ish, well, like half days. I went to the beach, I took some pictures because I, I love photography. I will include a few photos that I took here. I was really happy about that. I've been enjoying the sun, been trying to exercise. Freaking yesterday, I went on a hike to the Griffith Observatory. Then I met freaking David Dobrik yesterday. Ooh, did you hear my jaw pop? I will repeat, I met David Dobrik yesterday. David Dobrik. David freaking Dobrik. Let me tell you. I died. That happened. Back to work today. I've been filming all day. I still have like 400 Anki cards that I have to do today. I also have to plan what I'm gonna teach tomorrow. I am teaching for the next three weeks for this program that we have on campus. A lot of you guys have been asking what I'm going to teach. I'm teaching some anatomy and then some study methods. So I'm doing that for the next three weeks. I have research that I'm doing. I have YouTube. You guys, the grind never stops. And that's the life of a tank. Or red ant, actually. Bop, 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 bop. That's it. Okay, bye. Oh, I made some sun tea. I made sun tea yesterday while I started it. Good morning. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys like why I have a desktop, why do I have a laptop, why do I have an iPad. It is excessive and you don't, if you're going into medical school, you do not need all of these things. I do recommend a laptop for sure. Um, I do recommend having an external monitor or something just to study at home because ergonomically it is so much better to have this because you don't have to look down, the screen's bigger. I had wanted a desktop primarily for editing, honestly, because it's not good to edit on the laptop because it can process really well and it can do a lot of great things, but it doesn't have a really great cooling system. So over time, like having to have your laptop do this heavy lifting um, definitely decreases the life of the laptop. And so the desktop can handle more, you guys get it. And the iPad was a gift from the school for free. I wouldn't have gotten an iPad unless it was given to us free, just because I, I really don't like iPads and I don't really use mine that much. We can see the important role in viral infections or a state where you don't have an infection. Maybe face it, is that B cells, B or B cell maintaining an analog. Now keep those general rules in mind as Oh my God, I can't, I'm done. <laughs> I see Rachel's priorities right now. This uh, is how we decided against this. <laughs> we Go little... team. <laughs> we can do this. So you're in the wrong room, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys, it's been pretty hectic this morning. It's two o'clock now. We have been trying to configure Zoom. I'm excited. I'm excited to see some of the first years. You know, everyone's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, so I'm very excited to meet them. So yeah, that's what's going on. Okay. I feel so bad. Everyone is so tired <laughs> and I'm excited. Like this is the most interaction I've had in forever. Am I gonna get sick? Probably, honestly, I get food poisoning probably way too often. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday the 9th, it's 9 a.m. I've been up since uh, seven something. This blood vessel burst 
or like dilated, I don't know what happened. Did this during my last block. Now it keeps coming back when I spend a long time at the computer. Alrighty, hey guys, it has been quite the day. Right now, everything is finally done with the lectures for the um, teaching thing today. I finished my studying finally, and now I'm moving on to editing because I really want to finish this video today. Yikes, here we go. More playful and interactive, the red. I suck at voiceovers. Cards you might have, I suck. Taking out the retainers because I literally can't, I for some reason, forget how to talk. Let's see how that sounded. Alrighty, hey you guys. I have been studying all morning and I have been, what was this? And I'm doing really well for time, actually. We are going to start lecture soon, so I'm just gonna make my little drink that I've been enjoying. Um, this was the sun tea that I made yesterday. It's really dark. I didn't realize how concentrated it was gonna be. Then I have lemonade, so let's do it. Ooh, so freaking good, and it saves you money, and you don't have to go out, you know? Okay guys, I'm done with my studying for today. It is 2.30 and I have a lot of stuff to do to finish my lecture for tomorrow. I'm doing the pelvis and lower extremity and I'm very excited. However, I have a lot of stuff to do still. So they're lecturing right now. Doug is actually lecturing and I'm gonna finish my lecture. Okay, let's go. see myself in your video like it just like boosts of like confidence in myself you know yeah. how's my faux hawk uh, is that a camera rolling yeah it's rolling hello fan <laughs> morning guys it is thursday it's the 11th i sound really congested because i just had a huge sneeze attack so pardon that today's just another busy day and we're gonna get through it and it's gonna be great i'm excited to talk about the pelvis and the lower extremities today to the students i feel like they're very overwhelmed with all the material that we've given them this week and we're testing them tomorrow it's crazy to think that during the year you're being taught anatomy and concurrently with all of the other actors actual science, biochem, histology, all of that stuff. I'm gonna get to work. I have a lot of Anki cards to do and then I'll just wait until someone needs me to answer a question. Also, I made a Vietnamese coffee. It's really good. I haven't tried it yet. It's good. Hi guys, I know this is a really weird angle. I've been studying, but um, I am trying to kind of get my stuff together for the lecture that I'm giving. And so I wanted to show you some cool things. I actually have a skeleton here. The rest is downstairs. This is a real femur, you guys. All these bones that I have here are real. The tibia here, here's your tibial tuberosity. You can feel that on yourself. Here's your medial malleolus. You can feel that as well right here on your ankle. I have a sacrum, you guys. This is a real sacrum. It's so cute. For my favorite part, I have an innominate. This is your right innominate, and I know this because here's your pubic tubercle right here, and it points forward, and you can actually feel this on yourself. It's obviously in a more sensitive area, but you can palpate down and you can actually feel your pubic tubercle, which is really cool. I wanna just teach you guys really quick about certain things and landmarks that you can feel on yourself. We all have a body and we all, you know, walk around in this vessel, but to be honest, a lot of people don't know much about their body at all, so I think it's really cool to be able to see what actually is inside and to actually feel from the outside. So I want to teach you some things so you can share it with your friends or just appreciate it on your own anatomy. Let's get started. So not only do I know this is the right because of the pubic tubercle, but the femur has to go in here. So here's the head of the femur that goes into the acetabulum right here. 
um, and so it has to obviously be on the outside. And then there's a few other landmarks that I want to show you on this anominate and palpate on yourself as we go along, please. Here is your ASIS. Um, the long name for it is your anterior superior iliac spine and here's your anterior inferior iliac spine. So ASIS, AIIS. On the back side, we have our PSIS, so your posterior superior iliac spine, and this is your posterior inferior iliac spine, your PIIS. I will be showing you a little bit of skin. This is for educational purposes. I really want you guys to be able to see this and feel it on yourself. So um, you can feel your ASIS. You can see it's right here. You see that kind of curve? And so my iliac crest comes up to right here. So it's gonna sit right here and you follow it to midline at your spine, that's approximately L4, so your fourth lumbar vertebrae, and there are five lumbar vertebrae, and then you have your sacrum right underneath. So you can feel that your sartorius muscle attaches here, and that is um, basically one of the muscles, if you think about crisscross applesauce, flex your hip, externally rotate, abduct, and so the AIIS is where your rectus femoris attaches, and this is like one of the big muscles of your quadriceps. When you flex your hip or you put your knee up, you can feel these muscles contract. Coming back to the PSIS, I don't have back dimples, but you can kind of see that indentation there. That dimple is kind of like right here. It might not be the same for you. And if you hook into that indentation, you press up, you know that you're pressing on your PSIS. So remember the other day I was saying, or my other vlog, I was like, oh my gosh, my quadratus lumborum hurts. It attaches at the iliac crest and comes up to the 12th rib. That is where that muscle attaches along this ridge. Right here is your greater sciatic notch. Your piriformis actually splits this and your sciatic nerve comes out under here. And it's a huge nerve. It looks like a bundle, like string cheese almost, because it's like just this thick cord. It comes down and that's what innervates the back of the leg. It splits up and, and it's called different things as it goes down. And that's our little anatomy segment for the day. I'm so happy. This is like excited me so much. If you liked this segment, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and comment down below that you liked it or what you learned new that you hadn't learned before. I really like all this baby stuff, so I just want to talk about it really quickly. All right, I'm all done studying and I'm gonna edit this vlog now. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe down below and join our herd. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be. It's at Rachel Southard. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was nice to be vlogging again and to talk to you guys. So until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, continue to work hard and all of that good stuff. Okay, bye. Get out of one piece, or maybe two.